you struggle to decide what volume your voice audio and music should be, as well as just having better sounding voice audio in general, then this video will help you level up really quickly. Let's start with something that is extremely important, and that is to adjust your recording levels on your camera or your recording device to the right amount. What you should do is make sure that your voice is averaging about minus 12 decibels, and at most, it is peaking at negative six decibels. This makes your voice loud enough so your camera or recorder doesn't pick up as much room noise, and it also protects you if you start talking much louder or if you happen to turn towards your microphone a little bit. You don't want your audio to clip or be so quiet that it picks up the noise floor. So that is why we keep it in this negative 12 to negative six range. Next, what you can do is add a compressor, which you can find in your effects browser. The compressor makes your audio sound more even by automatically turning down loud parts and raising up quieter parts. This helps your audio feel smoother and clearer overall. If not, the loud parts will sound like this and the quiet parts will sound like this instead of sounding something like this. Now I made a video all about specific voice audio settings with the compressor that I have found work the best, but if you're looking to add something basic that gets the job done, here's what you can do. Click the preset button and choose vocal compressor three. Think vocal compressor three is the one for me. Lame, <laughs> I know, but I bet you'll remember it now. With vocal compressor three, all you're gonna do is adjust this big threshold knob on the left until this needle moves around negative three to negative five decibels. And by the way, these knobs are a bit counterintuitive. You push up and down to use them. You don't try and rotate the dials. Also, little pro tip, if you press command L, it'll turn on loop playback. So now if we press shift and the question mark key, it'll play a few seconds before where your playhead is and a few seconds after and repeat. So now you can just adjust your settings without having to worry about pressing the space bar to pause and then clicking again to restart the audio. Once that's done, let's move on to the tool that's gonna take everything we just did and make sure your audio stays around the volume level that we want. It is the limiter. I prefer this over the compressor's limiter because it gives us more precision control and it just works better in my opinion. Switch this to legacy mode. Switch your look ahead anywhere from two to four milliseconds. And once again, we push up and down to adjust these dials. And set your release to 100 milliseconds. I used to like my release lower at around 10 milliseconds because then it clamps down on the sound so it sounds almost studio-like. But I've changed my tune to having this around 100. It just makes voice audio more natural sounding in my opinion. Totally up to you though. For voice audio in your videos, I would suggest having your voice never get louder than negative three decibels. It should range anywhere from negative six to negative three decibels. This way you have some room in your audio environment, so if we add music or sound effects, your video's audio doesn't get louder than zero decibels and start clipping. So here's all you do to adjust this. Play out your audio and increase the gain until you see about one to three decibels of reduction. What this is doing is raising the volume of your audio, and whenever something goes past that negative three decibel mark, it brings it back down for you. So now our audio has been compressed and it's been adjusted to hover around a certain volume. Speaking of voice audio, the sponsor of today's video, Motion Array, just released something that creates solid sounding voiceovers for your videos using AI. An AI voiceover though, that has to sound like robotic trash, right? Nope. Check this out. There is a huge catalog of different voices to choose from. I kind of sound like I'm a California girl, right? In all actuality though, I'm AI. In the heart of the Amazon lie thousands of mosquitoes that are sure to ruin your day. The thing that Dylan doesn't understand is that no one really loves him. If lobsters are the cockroaches of the ocean, then why do they taste so delicious? All you have to do is select the voice that you want, type in what you want it to say, and hit generate. It was in this moment that they all wondered, would going home ever feel the same? If you find that the voice is too slow or doesn't have the right emotion that you're looking for, you can change it really easily. And once you regenerate, you'll have a brand new voiceover. And from here, all you have to do is download the audio clip by hitting the arrow button. Motion Array offers a huge buffet of different motion graphics, music, stock footage, sound effects, but now under their everything plan, you get access to all of that and their new AI voiceover tool. Or if you just want their AI voiceover tool, they have a plan for that as well. Without awesome sponsors like these, paying my bills would definitely be more of a challenge. So I'm grateful for them and I'm grateful to you for watching this video. Back to the video. Now, if you find that your room sounds echoey or if you 
can hear things like your air conditioner going on in the background. You can use the built-in voice isolation feature that we have in FCP. You can find it in your audio inspector, and if you don't see it, you might have to select your clip, hit option G to create a compound clip, and then it should allow you to use the feature. It works pretty well, but if you want something that sounds better in my opinion, there's a plugin called D-Room that you pretty much just slap on and it removes nearly all of the room sound and just makes it sound like you're in some kind of recording studio. This is not sponsored, I just really like this plugin. What about music volume? And what can we do to make our voice sound better with our music? This is more of something that's gonna be personal preference, but let me break down what I would suggest. If your voice volume is hovering around that negative three decibel level, I'd suggest making your music volume be anywhere from negative 25 decibels to negative 35 decibels. It's gonna depend on the song and how much you want the music to be heard in the background of your video, but I found that negative 25 to negative 35 to be a solid range. And by the way, if you hold command when moving the volume bar, it'll make a slower adjustment for you. If not, that bar moves up and down way too quick. You can also just hop into the inspector window and type in the volume that you want. Here's something pretty dang useful that you can do to your music to have it work better with your voice so they're not clashing so much. Add the channel EQ effect to your music and hit this button. If you hit this analyzer button and press shift question mark to play your music in a loop, you'll see all the different frequencies in the music. Take one of these frequency bells and narrow it just a bit and lower the frequencies from the 200 to 500 hertz range, about five decibels. Take another frequency bell, narrow it, and lower the frequency range in the 1000 to 3000 hertz region, about five decibels. What we're doing here is carving out a bit of these music frequencies so that your voice frequencies, which are most notable in these ranges, are easier for your viewer to hear. If not, these frequencies in the music can really overpower your voice and make it hard for your viewer to hear you. You may prefer to lower these frequency ranges even more than five decibels or perhaps less. So just play around with this and decide how much you wanna carve out parts of your music. Now all of these settings are a ton to remember and it's a lot to do every time you edit a video. So click the voice dialog that you adjusted, hit save effects preset, save it as voice adjustment or something, add it to the folder you want and hit save. Then click the music that you adjusted and do the same thing. You could call it music adjustment though. And the next time you're editing a video, all you do is go to your effects browser, search for voice adjustment and apply it to your voice audio. And then search music adjustment and apply that to your music. All of those carefully adjusted settings will be instantly applied. However, something I would suggest is just double checking that the needle in your compressor is swinging to that negative three to negative five level that we went over and that your limiter is reducing the volume about one to three decibels. You might've recorded some audio a bit louder or quieter, so it is worth it just to double check that these are okay because if not, these effects are not gonna work on your voice audio the way they should. These are some quick and solid settings to get your audio sounding great, but there are even more precise ways to get your voice audio sounding as professional as possible. So click this video right here to learn more. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.